All right, welcome back to another Hot Tips Tuesday. Hot Tips Tuesday, Hot Tips Tuesday. I'm Jenny, your bringer of hot tips, and this is hot tip number five. We've been harping on bow holds, and as I've been telling you, I do have a free mini course that's about all of the details of the bow hold. There are so many things that are super important. So if you hadn't have, haven't had a chance to sign up for that, then I invite you to do that today, right in the description. But these hot tips are quicker things that you can just check on the fly um, and keep in mind, things that are sort of easy to forget in the shuffle. Maybe you learned it at the beginning, but now um, with a lot more piling on, easy to forget. Um, and this one is about the bow axis or tilt. That's what I call it. There's so many angles going on. The main angle, um, that you have to be aware of is keeping the bow parallel with the bridge. That's key for, for good sound. I think a little bit lesser known one is the, and I call this axis because this, I think of this as the angle. When we get at an angle to the bridge instead of parallel, that's bad for the sound. So I guess that's a little bonus tip there. Um, but the one that I really wanted to zero in on today because I think that it is more forgotten is the, is axis. That's just what I'm gonna call it. And I'm just talking about the angle of if I had a line that went straight through the frog and out the top of my bow, along with the frog here, that I always wanna keep this tilted this way, away from my face. So we don't want it straight up and down. And we definitely don't want it this way. And that is just simply because when it's like this, it wants to slide down away from you. And that's gonna make a breathy squeak sound. And straight up and down is okay, but it does make it very close to this one little slip and it's sliding down, down this slope. So if you keep the axis tilted, so that the stick is further away from you than the hair. Then that keeps a nice hug in here where the bow is gonna wanna stick to the string a little bit more against this slope down of gravity that could make it wanna go down that way, which would be bad. So I call this axis, and it's hard to explain, but we want it tilted away from us. Another way to say it is we want the stick further away from you than the hair. And you can play with really exaggerating this. You can still get a really good sound even with the stick way over here. And the more that you do tilt this axis away from you, the more that the hair of the bow is, uh, is also spread out on a diagonal, giving it more surface area with the string for more sound. So that's hot tip five and that's don't forget the axis. Keep the stick further away from you than the hair.